What is your name? Hey, I'm meteorologist Drew Anderson. How would you describe yourself? I'm someone that has boundless energy. Now, part of it is because I don't sleep. I think that has something to do with it, but actually, if I don't sleep, I should have no energy. But I can function very well a little sleep, and I just have incredible amounts of energy, and I don't even do caffeine. See, outside of college, I was like, I'm done with caffeine. I didn't want to be one of those people that eats a cup of coffee in the morning, so I love coffee. Right at the end of college, I said, that's it, no coffee. So the only time I get caffeine is when I do a little chocolate. And because of that, even though I like dark chocolate, I have to have milk chocolate because dark has more caffeine in it and it jacks me up more. What's your identity? My identity would be in terms of branding and I think of that in terms of a professional sphere. So meteorologist Drew Anderson is always the title I introduce myself as when I meet someone and I kind of look at that all part of the same thing, not only the name, but also like what I wear. So people are used to always seeing me in a suit, that's part of my brand. So I think of myself when I say meteorologist, Drew Anderson, not only am I a meteorologist, I have the science background, I'm gonna be engaging just like this, just because that's part of the TV thing, be personable, I'm gonna have a suit on, look professional. But that's just for professional reasons in real life. I just like hanging out, watching some TV, and uh, honestly doing nothing. Do you feel your identity influences your daily life? Absolutely, especially when I'm in a professional environment when there's other people. I'll be more engaging, more uh, personable, but when it's outside of that and it's not like professionally related, I'm not in a viewing area, I'm not around any of the communities where I work at, man, I just wanna put my head down and just go with the flow at Walmart. I always go to the self-checkout lines because I don't want to interact with any people. I like to avoid people uh, when I'm not just like this. So I'm like the opposite of how I usually am presenting to everybody. Oh, we do. Come on in. Or she has an interview for one class. It's okay. We can talk. Have you ever faced issues because of your identity, such as discrimination or prejudice? How did you deal with this? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm on television all the time. People will write in anything. People will send stuff to you in person. Right, let me try that again. People will email things or write on social media things they would never say to you in person. So I'll get things all the time. I'll get 60 year old men telling me all inappropriate things of what they want to do to my body. I'll also get people calling me morons, moron weatherman if I blow something. Uh, I think I've had a woman uh, let me know how, how ugly I look or how I wasn't professionally dressed or something. But it comes with the territory. If I'm gonna put myself out there, I'm in the public media, you gotta have a thick skin. So for me, I personally don't care what anyone says. I'll certainly listen to any I call it nasty grams to see if there's anything useful out of it, but if I don't find anything useful out of the nasty gram, I hit delete, and that's gone. And that comes as, again, part of my identity. Uh, if it weren't for that, if it weren't media sort of thing, I wouldn't get that sort of um, interaction. What advice would you give to someone younger than you about life? I would say that at the end of the day, you just gotta be yourself. So we're so used to like, you know, maybe trying to project to be someone we're not. Best thing you do is be yourself. That's so important for television, because on air, I feel like you can really tell when you're being yourself, when you're personable. And I think there's something to be said when you're the same on air and off air, you're more genuine. So the more you can just be your actual self, the better. Though with that said though, I do like uh, not interacting with people, not seeing any people when I'm home and uh, just doing errands and sort of things. But I guess maybe that's just to balance things out. What would you say is your biggest goal in life? Goals in life? Just be television, doing the weather on television, which I've done, and also always want to teach some college classes. Got to do both of them. Last one. What would you like to remember for in life? Hit me with that question one more time because I didn't understand it. What would you like to be remembered for in life? But uh, personality. Just personality, uh, what people think of me in terms of personality. Uh, I don't really care if people remember you from television or not. I know a lot of people do, but I would just say at the end of the day, some remembers uh, positive things once I'm dead and gone. Hey, uh, anything else you want to add? So anytime you interview someone, make sure your last question, you always ask that person, hey, is there anything else you want to add? That's like, what you, that's like reporting 101. Now, for you, if you ask me that, I'm going to say nothing. But I just recommend anytime you ever do an interview, always, regardless of if you give them questions, do that.